Hello everybody, I got this Scotch TL901 laminator on Craigslist for free. The donor said the laminator does not heat up. So I just flip the unit over, take off the four rubber feet. There are screws underneath the rubber pads and the two halves should separate. So once you get the four screws out, the two halves will separate. You have the circuit board out of the laminator. I initially thought that I was going to have trouble with the thermal sensors. There's one there. There's another one here. And as it turns out, it looks like those NTC thermistors are good. As they heat up, the resistance decreases. And both of them seem to be working okay. I did notice there's no voltage being applied to the heaters. The heaters are on these two purple wires right here. And the purple wires are in this header. I don't see any voltage. Uh, there is resistance for the heaters. So that tells me that the heaters are probably good. I actually measure the resistance from one end to the common. Check both heaters. Both heaters read around 28 ohms resistance. That seems reasonable. There's no voltage being applied to the heaters. I think this triac right here is suspect. That triac turns on and off the power to the heaters. It is a BT 136S 600E. That is a 4 amp triac and a EO. 252 SMD service mount device package. A BT-137S600E is an 8 amp device, so 100% more capacity than the BT-136. And for all practical purposes, they're about the same price, probably within pennies of each other. I think you can buy 10 of these on either eBay or AliExpress, A-L-I-E-X-P-R-E-S-S.com for about $2 delivered. If you are not a Top Cash Back member, be sure to check out the link in the comments below for a referral link to Top Cash Back. If you create a Top Cash Back account, log into your Top Cash Back account, then go out to eBay or out to AliExpress or many, many thousands of merchants, you get a cash rebate. Typically on AliExpress and eBay, that rebate can be anywhere from 1% to 6 or 8%, depending on what promotion is going on. But I think that's the issue. I just did a quick test of the Triac on the board. I connected my multimeter uh, on the low resistance scale. I connected it to MT1 and the gate, which is over here. MT2 is this middle pin. It's also connected to this tab up here. But connect your positive of your multimeter to MT1 and the gate. And connect the negative of your multimeter to MT2 or the tab. And you should have a low resistance reading. I'm reading open circuit, so I think this track is probably shot. So I'm going to replace the track and see if I can salvage this laminator. So I've replaced the original triac, which was a BT136-600E and a T0252 package surface mount. And I was able to remove it with just my soldering iron and reinstall a new one with my soldering iron. I do not have a heat gun for surface mounted devices. But the original device had a current rating of 4 amps. I've replaced it with a BT-137S-600E. And that triac has a current rating of 8 amps. So 100% higher current rating than the original device. And I spent... $1.12 before my top cash back discounts and credit card discounts and PayPal discounts this month using Discover Card and getting 5%. So I essentially paid about a dollar for 10 triacs. And here's the part number that I purchased on eBay.
in a T0252 package. So I've got the laminator on. It's been on for about two minutes now. Got my thermal gun here. Let me just take a quick reading. You can see the ambient temperature around the machine is in the 68 degrees. Just reading the side of the machine. If I run it down through the slot, it's already up to 80 some degrees. Looking down through the slot, if I had the cover off, I'm sure it'd be hotter. So the thing is definitely heating up. Right here on this surface, it's 87 degrees already, whereas the surface right here is. Sixty nine degrees, but right here right there, it's already ninety degrees. Thermal laminator is definitely heating up, and all I did was replace that triac. I don't have a ready light yet, but this is definitely warm. It's definitely heating up and it was not doing that before. So that's how you fix it. Replace that triac. It's pretty easy to test without any power, and you can test the triac with your voltmeter without unsoldering it. At least I was able to test mine that way. And replace the triac, and the laminator is working again. For so thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful or informative, how about a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel.